G'day, Jimmy. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good. Mate, welcome to today's Wollongong Football Show News Blast, brought to you by the good people at caravantshirts.com. To kickstart the news today, what do you got for us, Jimmy? Well, uh, UOW and the Tottenham Hotspur held uh, a launch dinner last night with the the partnership uh, between the uni and the English Premier League side. So... You were actually at the dinner, yes. so why don't you take the floor well, and you tell us all about it? Well, congratulations, first of all, to both uh, Tottenham Hotspur and the UAW. Uh, to have um, Adam Gilchrist there, our, yeah, okay. uh, well, he's an ambassador for the UAW um, University, so it was very good to, to hear all aspects of the night from him to uh, Ledley King, a uh, former great uh, Premier League player at Tottenham Hotspur, um, and also the, the, the different people from around the region, like this, the uh, uh, Luke Wilkshires and, and Amy Duggan, who got up there. Uh, there. There was a whole host of people. Uh, the Who's Who of football were there. It was great to see uh, all different sort of walks of life um, be presented with a, with a bit of a pennant um, from Tottenham at the end, okay. signed by Ledley as well. But I guess it was, it was just a good uh, vibe in the room to have all the different... Uh, levels of football together mm-hmm. in one room and it was probably for the first time felt like uh, a, a real football family well, connection. I guess, I guess the question for you would be um, now that the partnership has happened, yep. what's what's the benefit for well, the region? The benefit for the region is, is twofold. Uh, for me, the first benefit is we're going to see an influx of, uh, of serious people coming over to play football as well as the education component. So it's another way of, of bringing great people to the region. There's already an influx of great overseas students that are coming in to learn um, their, their trade here at, at the UOW. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to add, to, to add football to that, the offshoot for, for us here is obviously the ability to um, utilise some of the talent that might come out to play locally as well. Um, but essentially they did announce uh, UOW that there's an opportunity for, uh, for locals um, to submit, um, even if they can't afford to do the program, okay. to submit to the program and, and there'll be scholarships on offer. So I think all in all, the quality of coaching staff that were there um, is going to lift the whole standard in the region. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. Well done to UAW. And um, uh, despite not being a Tottenham fan, well done to Tottenham as well. Okay. All right. Well, uh, on to our next story. Yep. The weekend is so close. You it can, is. You can taste it. You can. And with the weekend comes more football action. So... Tomorrow night, the uh, the Wollongong Wolves, they travel up to Lambert Park to yep. take on Sydney FC. Kick yep. off 7 p.m. Wolves, of course, they're on top of the table by one point. Correct. Uh, so a win against a youthful Sydney FC side could see them extend uh, the, the gap at the top. Well, they, they have had success at Lambert Park two weeks ago, so have, fingers yes. crossed. Yes. Good luck to Luke and the men up there. TJ, um, you know, let's see if he can score again, eh? All right, Illawarra Stingrays uh, versus Emerging uh, Jets. That's at JJ Kelly at 3 o'clock. Uh, they're sitting on top of uh, the ladder equal on, uh, on, on in points. the top four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So four, yep. um, the Stingrays with Scott Chipperfield doing great guns, undefeated, the same as Luke over at the Wolves, and it's great to see, uh, you know, the, the quality happening there. So uh, Sydney Uni versus New South Wales Institute could see uh, points dropped. Yeah, so, so that's actually going to allow they're, they're allow the Stingrays to sneak up. Yeah, if uh, they get the three points against the Jets. Yes, and mm. of course locally, there's plenty of football over the there weekend. Is. So the Illawarra Premier League get kicked starting off tonight. tonight. Yeah, yeah, the great Shavafis out there yeah. at Cringilla. I yes. love Cringilla. Yeah, so they take on the Tarawana Blueies. Kick yep. off at eight pm out at Korean Park, like, obviously. Yep. On Saturday, Coniston FC taking on Wollongong Olympic at JJ Kelly Park. Big match, that one. Big Kick match. I actually had a good chat last night to John Kirianis okay. from Cono, and uh, it was great to, to get the feedback of the success of the opening day. Whilst they didn't get the three points, um, by all reports, massive crowd, big gate takings, you know, lots lots happening on and off the field there at Coniston. So uh, shout out to Cono. Good luck with that big game. That's a well, massive ha- game. It's, they've had one of the toughest starts. They have. Two of the big, biggest yep. clubs. And, uh, the next game is Winuna FC taking on Bulleye FC. Ocean Park kick Darby. off 2.30 as Darby. well. Love Darby. Love a Derby. Yes. Love a yes. Derby. Uh, South Coast United taking on Fernhill Foxes FC. 6.30 p.m. on Saturday out at Ian McLennan. And the last two games on Sunday, Mate, AB. Coromel Rangers, Port Kembla. It's the Italian Derby. Beautiful. Out there at Coromel. <laughs> you know, get out there if uh, you got Italian roots. If you don't, bad luck. 
get out there anyway because it's uh, it's going to be on for young and old. Uh, that'll be a great game, that one. Yep. The other the other match is the uh, White Eagles taking on Wollongong United out at uh, Terry Reserve. That'll be a great um, match as well. The stand's not quite finished. They're waiting for the seats to go in. Okay. Uh, but... Um, at least there'll be uh, you know something new out there for the Wollongong uh, United supporters to us to see when they travel out. Yes, of course. And uh, just quickly through the Illawarra district, uh, Berkeley taking on Picton out of Berkeley. Sports. Another home game for the Berkeley Goats. Yeah, mate, we've got uh, six Gee, home where's... games in a row. I think it is. So uh, yeah. Oh, do you realise your reserve grade team played against uh, eleven men, and the others were backups from youth grade against Unadera. What? I was thinking. I was speaking about that last night. What? To Boscaro, you know, Dara Hard. So I was just uh, giving him a ribbing about his reserve grade last week. But anyway, <sighs> good luck this week, Mr. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, I think we're Marilla, it, Shell yeah. Cove over at King Mickey Park. Uh, that should be a good one, local derby. I love derbies. Mm-hmm. It's a derby there. Mm-hmm. But this is a big test for the Hearts uh, yeah. going up to Helensburg. To Helensburg yeah. Up at Rex Jackson. Uh, not many teams go up there and get the points. Uh, tough match. Um, it's a big test for the Unandera Hearts. Yep. Um, huge shout out to Fab as well. So the Oak Flats yeah, Falcons, yeah. they're taking on Balgowney. Like I said, I've, got, I've always had a st- soft spot for the uh, Falcons. Uh, my in laws are from Oak Flats, and I, I whenever I get the chance, I will go and watch the game at Oak Flats. So uh, yeah, shout yeah. out to the Falcons. They've done all that hard work. So, uh, Earl, you're a, you're a, you're a fool, mate. <laughs> Uh, the University of Wollongong taking on Kiama, so Uni will be looking to continue their, their great run after the point after the moving through the FA Cup, FA yep. Cup round. And the Thunder taking on Balambi out there yes. at Thomas Gibson Park. Mm. Um, let's see if uh, the Thunder, who started off um, on the wrong foot last week, if they can uh, can bounce back. Well, this is a tough ask against Balambi, oh, who's going to be a tough tough team this year. Yeah, but you can catch all of the uh, preview for the weekend's fixtures. In Mitch's mail on today's Wollongong Football Show podcast. podcast exactly, exactly. I had the pleasure of sitting uh, with a gentleman last night at the uh, at the event uh, with um, UAW and, and Tottenham Hotspur from uh, the FFA, who actually uh, wrote the white paper okay. for second division. Right. Um, interesting. The draft paper in in some parts was leaked last night by the Australian. Um, Ray Gat reported that. Uh, the likely second division would be coming into play in 2021, um, and and we spoke about such uh, venues like the, you know Wollongong, Canberra, Tasmania, being the likely targets for that second division. Um, a number of uh, pointers here. Obviously, a 10 to 16 team comp. Uh, 25% of the teams coming from smaller regions. So. Um, the idea was around, you know, not not being a heavy populated area, but being able to sustain the team in this second mm-hmm. division. Yep. Um, some of the pointers, you know, they're looking at n- no promotion relegation for the first two years, um, promotion relegation between the new uh, competition and and the tiers below, looking between five and ten years. So okay. So there was word of, you know, first two years no promotion up to A League or demotion from A League. But um, you know that that's that's at least they're working on something that looks like could be uh, taking off in 2021. Well, I guess that allows the new clubs to kind of establish themselves, yeah. you know, find yep. player bases and train people up. I guess, yeah. But um, reported by the Advertiser in Adelaide, FFA are looking to revisit the Adelaide United ownership model after the club chairman Piet Van Bommel um, has never revealed. <laughs> the owners of the club, which, right, is, okay. which is quite strange. Right, very strange. Yeah, yeah so the club was sold uh, in 2018 for, I think it was $12.8 million. Right. And, uh, yeah, the owners have never been disclosed to the okay. FFA. Um, Australia's GOAT. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd Greatest I'd, of all I'd, time, I'd, yeah, yeah, I'd Tim agree. Cahill. I'd agree to that. It's yeah. called time on his career overnight. The Aussie legend played with Indian outfit uh, Jam Shed Poor last year, but uh, called his time on his career... Uh, and we're now retired at the age of 39. And um, it was actually a good... Uh, there's there's a good thing on Optus. If you've got Optus, like if you haven't, it's only 14 99 or something a month to just get the Optus. Um, he, he did a great show yesterday on, on Optus Sports and he picked his uh, all-time greatest uh, Team 11 that he played with and then he picked the, the, the best team he played against. So uh, interesting to uh, to have a look at that if you get the chance. Right. Massive, massive news massive, yeah, overnight. Obviously. Overnight, yes. Man United. Um, well, well, well. They have <laughs> finally put pen to paper with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, earning himself a three-year deal with the Red mm. Devils. Mm. Um, so, congratulations to Manchester United. I think that's a fantastic appointment. 
He deserves his place as the head coach, uh, as the manager of the club. Um, he's done a fantastic job, and uh, I, I can I can see the old Manchester United spirit well and truly alight now that uh, Ollie's back. So well done. Um, that's pretty much it for today. But you're going to play that. Um, Was a bumper of You're going to play that Rio Ferdinand. I will. Quote. Yes, yeah. I will. I, I remember when Rio. Um, was reporting on Sky News, or oh, Sky Sports, or whatever the commentary was that that, that he was involved in for the uh, Champions League. Um, after that, after that three-one win over at um, PSG, he yeah, uh, he was very animated, and he was and it was like, get it done now. You're gonna do. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna put the video up. Yeah, yeah? I'll put the video yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, listen, all you've got. To do, Man United might not thank me, but get the contract out, put it on the table. Yeah. Let him sign it. Let him write whatever numbers he wants to put on there, given what he's done now since he's come in. And let him sign the contract and go. Ollie's let the will, man. He's doing it. He's doing his thing. Man United are back. That should have been the closing. I should have let you do it tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for the blast today. Don't forget this afternoon's podcast is going to be a ripper. Um, I believe Will Smith is back. Oh, where has he been? Where has he been? Oh, Will, oh, Will, where have you been? <laughs> Um, so listen to the podcast this afternoon. That'll be avail- available uh, around five o'clock. Yep. If you subscribe to our newsletters, uh, you d- actually get access to that a little bit earlier. Mm. So you want to l- learn how to subscribe to the newsletters and get that podcast direct to your inbox, go to our Facebook page and there's a little subscribe button up there. But this, don't forget to subscribe down below um, and also turn the bell on. Yes. Because apparently it rings. Yes. Of course, if you uh, if you don't want to wait for the newsletter, you can always get the Wollongong Football Show app. Correct. And you just That's type in way. bit.ly forward slash WFS app. That's a double P. And, uh, yeah, you can listen to all segments, watch all the news blasts, any extra videos yep. as well that we've published and will be publishing in the future. Fantastic. Um, but, yeah. All right, I this, guess, uh, this fantastic news blast is brought to you by... CaravanTshirts.com. Be sure to uh, head over there and check out all of the cool designs that they've got at uh, CaravanTshirts.com. Funky T-shirts. <laughs> see you Have tomorrow. a good weekend. We'll ah, see you actually, on Monday. see you Monday. Yes, it's Friday, we'll right? See, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> see, you, see you Monday. This has been a Podular Media Production.